Hello and welcome to QED's data from part S14. Here we're looking at categorical variables, value labels. Um, so we're going to use as an example World Bank country income groups. So a categorical variable would be are countries defined as low income, lower middle income, upper middle income or high income. These are the categories the bank uses and every so often they update the boundaries because you know, the value of output changes and so on. Um, value of the dollar changes. So at the moment, these are the boundaries. So anything up to $1,035 per person per year on GNI per capita is defined as low income and so on. So we can use that to make a variable which shows which category every country in the world belongs to. And we can do it quite automatically. So let's look how that's done here. So we're going to generate a new variable, generate a new variable which I've decided is called World Bank Group. WB group. And that's going to be for a start one if GNI per capita is less than that initial threshold. So all this is going to do is to define that first category of um, low income countries. So grab that, execute that in Stata, which has now disappeared. Um, okay, it doesn't say to browse it, but let's browse anyway. So we got there is one because you can see that first one is Afghanistan, low income country. It's a bit awkward not being able to easily see what we're doing, but there are ways around that. Um, there's another few, so it's labeled all the low income countries. So here's a couple of others there. It's really Central African Republic, Chad, and so on. Okay. So it's labeled some low income countries. All the others that are still blank. So we have to fill in the other categories. So the next category is going to be onto, onto um, number two is going to stand for lower middle income. Oh, first it wants to label this. Let's just do that. Add that value, that the variable label. Okay. Oh, variable, uh, label variable, World Bank group, World Bank income group. Okay. Now we can do the number twos, as it were, which is for the low and middle income countries. The question is, think to yourself, why can't I just repeat this command here with a with two and so on? Why am I changing why change to replace? Hopefully you can work out why that is. But if not, please do ask or try it and see what happens. Maybe better. It won't work. Well you'll, you'll get a strange result. Okay, so we're gonna do this, and this is gonna replace um, all those missing values, therefore two if G and I is between this value and this value. So it's bigger than that and less than that. That's what the World Bank defines at the moment as lower middle income. Oops, I'm sure I copied that. Status needs to do so. Yes, it is. Okay, so it's done that. Look at the browser window to make sure it's worked okay. How could it possibly go wrong? Yeah, so there's the twos coming in. Now let's do threes. So I've just magically added the instruction that you need to add the next two categories yourself. Um, so you need to think about how you're going to do that. Um, obviously we need to know what the levels are. So the next one up goes from 4045 up to no, 4046 up to 12535. So try and do this yourself instead of just waiting for me. Makes it not very fast. So this has got to be bigger than 4045. Also it's got to be changed to 3. This is category 3. It's going to be less than twelve five three five. Get rid of the comma. And then group actually four will be.
Get rid of nothings. Let's catch we four. Note that um, in this looks right. In actual fact, um, in a couple of minutes we'll find that this creates a slight problem which you can avoid if you do that. But I won't do that. I'll just do. I'll just do it as you might do it now. So everything over twelve five two five is going to be called World World Bank Group Cash Be Four for high income. So let's go back and see if that's worked. Browse, and there we go. So you've got one, two, three, they're all complete. Okay, so what's that? That's a high income country there is Kuwait. Okay, so it seems to have done the right thing. So add the upper middle, middle income and high income categories yourself. Yeah, it's okay, fine. Um, but problem is that when you're just glancing at that, you've got to remember, okay, what's two, what's three, what's four? It's hard to remember. If you draw a graph, you don't really want to just have these numbers. You want to have the actual categories so it's clear what each one is. So Stata and other statistics software also gives you good ways of labeling it. So it looks a bit sort of long-winded. But what you do is there's two steps to it. So this first part here defines a label. So that label is going to hold WB label is going to hold this list. It's like a table of, it's going to hold the list that one means this, two means this, three means this, four means this. Once you've done that, then the next part is to apply this table to the, this variable. So it labels it. So that just stores the correct values for each number. So I'm barely more happening there. Let's copy that. Let's keep that. So that, that's just to find the label. It hasn't done anything yet. Next part is to apply that label. Label the values in this variable using that label you just defined. And this should have done it. So now, hopefully it'll tell us to go off and browse, which doesn't actually tell us, but we'll go and do it. So you browse over to here. Now you can see that instead of seeing the numbers, you're seeing it actually written in categories. But still stored is the number. So that upper middle income is actually stored as three. Um, low income is stored as one and so on. Worth noticing the difference between these words here you see in blue, whereas these words here you see in red. It's because here what's actually stored is the characters, the actual text. Whereas here what's actually stored is numbers, but it shows you letters because you've got that label coding in there. Now, if we go down, I've shown you how to put things into categories for the countries. Um, and now I'd like you to try and do the same thing for this um, variable looking at mammals. Data on mammals at risk. Here. Yeah. So you see some countries have very large numbers of mammal species at risk, others with very few or not recorded one. So what you want to do is put these into categories and the ones I've suggested are these so that anything with under five species can count as low threats, then moderate threats, high threats and then criticals like over 100. So what you want to do is create a new variable to show this categorization. And I'll leave it up to you what you call the variable but down here it explains limitations on what the names can be in Stata. So try and come up with a name that works for you and use similar commands to above to, to make a variable that categorizes things using this system here. So I think because this has got up to nine minutes, I'm going to actually do this in the next video. So please have a go at it and then move on to the next video to see, to check that it's worked okay or to see how to do it if you get stuck. But for now, thanks for watching.